Yo guys, it's your boy CP9 Nashi here, here to teach you how to use Jolene Kujo, aka Jolene Joe Star on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R. So let's get into it after this combo and intro. Alright, cool, let's get into it. So, she has a normal jump, it's not too floaty. Her run and jump is good, also, and her heavy punch also crosses up. She also has a good normal, good heavy, which hits twice, and she has a good standing heavy, which has good range too. And her forward heavy also launches. Her running speed is also normal and average too. Her down low is a poke, her down medium moves forward and it's a good poke too. Down heavy grounds your opponent which also allows for you to do her trap setups so they can wake up into it. Cool, next is her counter attack, we're going into special attacks here that lets you do the record thing straight afterwards. With that, you can also do the record after her 6H, which is the launcher for a full combo. You can also do the 6H into her half circle back um, low attack, which is kind of like a grab. If your opponent lands on it, it's an instant setup. You can also set that up into the trap, but you only can do that after the medium trap. I mean, the medium half circle. Alright, next thing is the stand attacks. So the stand normals are pretty good. Circles are anti-air. She's a movement based character once she hits stand mode. So down up, down up, back, down up, forward allows her for movement as she can also do it in the air to catch anyone that's trying to zone. So you could do it um, mid combo too. Right here. As you can see now. Which allows for like combo extenders. In her stand mode, she has the aura with the fist. In the normal mode, she has it with her feet. She always has a DP. That's the medium one. And when you do the heavy one, it allows for a ground, uh, the enemy to be grounded, which allows for traps or s taunt subs like so. I'll do it again because I messed up. I did it too early. Yeah, so taunt subs with certain characters, like Anastasia is good for taunt subs, and you can extend your combo again, whatever. So, the next thing to do now um, is to show her supers. So, she has a GHA, which has a very slow startup. You can only combo into it from her 6H in normal mode. In stand mode, you can combo into it from a heavy punch, which is good. So you can't get a trap up after unless you walk forward a little bit. But also all the traps have different ranges. So light is closer, medium is medium range and heavy is further away as you can see. So next thing, all of her supers like GHA, they have range. So her GHA have like short mid range which can catch your opponent off guard. And her HHA has a mid range which is really good for catching your opponent off guard for mashup. So with all GHAs, with uh, most characters in the game, she can combo her GHA after a special attack. You would most likely do it after her aura with the legs if you just want to do a quick finish and so on and so forth. And that's it for now. That's, that's her guide. It's a quick rundown. She's not too complicated. She has like a tool for everything except like a command grab. But she's pretty fun to use. If you like Jolene, you you definitely like using her. If you like a jack of all trades but master of none, I could say. But she's really fun to use. She can not she can solo combo off her traps as well. Also, as you just saw, but is the damage ain't that great. You wouldn't really want to do that to be honest. If there's any buff Jolene needs, is after her GHA or HHA, the opponent is closer to her on wake up. So she can do her trap setups once they're closer, which allows her to do more combo extenders. 
if they're not gonna do that, at least buff the damage she does. I understand like she's um, a mobility character with like jack of all uh, with a lot of jack of trades, but she needs some sort of buff with all the work she does and I guess how hard she is. She don't really get enough reward. So in my opinion, that is the only buff I would like to see her have. The opponent move are closer on a wake up after GHA or HHA. So that's it for me. Um, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. And I shall see you in the next one. I don't know which character I'm going to do next. But it will most likely be a character I use. So see you next time.